if I had no clues in the building, we have John Chris in the building. Give it up for him, damn it. Yeah. Coming to the stage right now, I met this guy the other day, very hilarious, Marcus. Quit playing. Jones, give it up for him. Yeah. What's up, poor house? Give it up for the, the great host, John. That boy's got, he's got a show behind his voice, don't he? He's like a skinny Steve Harvey up in this motherfucker. Right? Yeah, I don't know why y'all was scared of the white guy in the under armor blazer. I don't know. He didn't look, he didn't look intimidating, you know? He was just drunk, you know? Y'all got, y'all, white people gotta be a Uber driver. White people get crazier than that my motherfucking car. Yeah, I mean, they have white, I'm scared of black people, but I'm scared of white people that act blacker than black people. <laughs> you know, I had this one dude got in the car, he was like, what up, B? What up, money? What up, dog? I'm like, hey, how you doing, motherfucker? <laughs> but my name is Marcus Quit Playing Jones. I try to help the world out when they're fucking up. So tell them my favorite two words, and that's quit playing. So everybody say, quit playing. Quit playing. One more time, quit playing. Quit playing. If you are Farter, and you put forth the effort to push that nasty motherfucker out, make faces, do all the fucking damn motions of it, and you have the nerve to say, excuse me, fuck you, why? <laughs> Ain't no excuse for that shit. You need to come up with a better word to explain you farted. It's like an apologetic word where you can't so I can't get mad about it. My grandma was really good at it. My grandma, she was a super farter. When she farted, it sounded like two ass cheeks just mad at each other. And then she come with my favorite two words after she farted. She go, ooh, Lord. You can't say nothing to that. That reminds me, you know, my family, we had a lot of prayers. I got an auntie. Well, it's speech impediment with no teeth in her mouth, but I always got some shit to love and say. <laughs> Jehovah Witness come out of the house, try to get her to go to Jehovah with heaven. I don't know. Yeah, I ain't got no against no religion, but this shit fine. So they said, if you want to go to heaven to meet the kingdom, if you're going to be 444,000, you got to sign the words right now. My auntie looked at him and said, uh, uh, we, we bastards. She, <laughs> She was trying to say we back this guy. <laughs> My grandma was like, get your no teeth out of there, the door. We need more grandmamas now. Y'all, y'all young millennials, and I call y'all motherfuckers. <laughs> My white people, my white side said millennial. My black said motherfucker. <laughs> millennials, y'all, y'all weak. Y'all didn't play with no tongue and trunks made out of metal. <laughs> you ain't never had cut and never went to the motherfucking doctor. We didn't have to go get no shots and shit, y'all. Got all these damn allergies and shit. Gluten allergies. I can't fuck with a person with a gluten allergy. We're gonna be arguing all the time. I be running around here losing weight, looking like ass shot, and head all big, and body all skinny. <laughs> shit ain't right. Y'all millennials are gangster rappers now. How the fuck can you be a gangster rapper if you got a peanut butter allergy, goddamn? <laughs> you can't. I will get rid of you real motherfucking quit. I'll bet you crack this like, hold this, hold this goddamn stick. I'm gonna go warm up this jiffy, and his ass gonna fall in it, and I'm gonna run it all over his face, and he's gonna melt like the Wizard of Oz, bitch. Die, motherfucker, die! This is shit I'm going through. Millennials doing shit too fast, y'all. ain't even letting love come through. Y'all eating ass too quick. <laughs> What kind of preserve is she taking in? She might fuck up your diabetes. For real. You can't eat no all this booty. No IGA, no puppets, no Kroger booty. You gonna eat some ass, go for the gusto. Turn truck booty, goddammit. No gluten ass. The fuck is wrong with y'all? You ask a black woman on her fourth year anniversary, be like, what you doing for y'all fat? She's like, I'm getting my booty ass. For real! Stop fucking it up for somebody. I mean, one day I might want to fuck with somebody about 25, 30 years old. 
You know what I'm saying? And I won't perk your titties again, because they don't get perky after 35. They just hang there. You just imagine what they used to be. But I'm not gonna put, I ain't eating no ass, I ain't graduated. So if y'all out here eating ass, and you think I'm gonna join the party, quit motherfucking playing. My name is motherfucking Marcus Cooper and John. Y'all have a good fucking time. Marcus, quit playing.